Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on April 7th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Thank you for joining me, the Daily Dew. Starting out here looking at our sun as Solar Dynamics Observatory site is back up and running. Uh, we're missing a few images, and apparently there was also a CME ejected from the sun during the time that is missing. You can see it in the last code too. You can't really see it here. Just looking at the images that we do have, did have that fiery sunspot region. Has not produced a flare. Watching a couple regions that are incoming here. In the southwest region. Again, pretty active. Little shots going off from the sunspot. Huge loops. And a CME. Which again, we're not able to see here. I'll be able to show you soon on the Lasko 2 image. But God bless humanity. Thank you all for watching. The Daily Do. Look here, Lasko 2 image. As the CME shot out. Left side there. So that's a large plasma filament eruption or coronal mass ejection. Let's get to earthquakes here the last 24 hours. Just recently, an earthquake Pocahontas, Arkansas, a 2.6 at a 15 kilometer depth. And pretty strange earthquakes going on all across the North American plate right now, especially the swarm in Idaho and continuing quakes in California. And now a warned region, which I was warning in my live stream recently, a 3.4, pretty deep in Alaska, and as well a 4.2 in Amitgadak, Alaska. These are from yesterday, 4.2 in Japan. And then today as well, a 5.0 in Sinabang, Indonesia. And a couple very active of volcanoes in this area, Kerinci. Merapi and Krakatoa. And as well, we had a 5.0 here in the Tonga region, 43 kilometer depth. South American plate, 4.0 here in Chile. Earthquake swarm continuing in Dominican, two ranging to fours. So we've got the swarm there and we've got the swarm in Idaho. And if we start to see a swarm in Hawaii, then look out, we got a big, a bumbling volcanic field. Western Plate, North America. So recent earthquakes were in Fiji and then in Cinnabung. And I had projected that there would be an earthquake in Alaska and like literally five, 10 minutes later, it rung off 3.4, 112 kilometer depth. And then right after that, 2.6 in Arkansas, the Pocahontas, Arkansas, 14 kilometer depth. That's a pretty deep earthquake for this region. So stay aware and prepared. Cascades and San Andreas, most likely Cascades up into Alaska or Russia, large 6.0 or greater, I'm expecting in the next 24 hours. I don't normally put out a statement like that, but I am today. So please stay, stay safe, aware and prepared. We could be on the verge of a large cascade movement based on everything that's happening right now and the weather has a lot to do with it as well so let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center here we're going to show you satellite imagery and as well most recent volcanoes going off Nevados de Chilean in Colombia Sabancaya in Peru Kushinamir Jiba and as well Asosan Takono in Indonesia a lot of flood alerts across the states again. Uh, Fuego in Guatemala, Popo in Mexico, Era in Japan. So that's seven volcanoes, eight, Carinche in Indonesia. Now that was just after the 5.0. 
or sorry, this was reported 13 hours ago. And since then, there's been a lot of seismic movement. 5.0 today in Cinnabung. So we've got the Karinchi and the Merapi. And Krakatoa was active last week. The two most active storms, Cyclone Iron Dro, which has diminished and heading south into the cooler waters, but Tropical Cyclone Herald turned into a furious Category 5. Today, early this morning and overnight, turned into a Category 5 hurricane, and this satellite imagery isn't even giving it justice because there was a very tight eye. I'm not sure what's going on with this satellite Im imagery right now but it was producing a mammoth 998 millibar storm and at such a southern latitude, just very strange indeed for these storms to be that strong and heading that far south. Across the United States, a lot of flooding reports coming out of Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota, moving into the Central Plains along the Mississippi, Stay safe, everyone, my American friends. Much love to you all, and don't forget to get in the comments section. Let me know how you're all doing, because I miss all of you. And I love the comments, and I love all of you. <laughs> and again, thanks. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteo Earth. Meteo Mike, starting out here overlooking Calgary, Alberta, home base. Cooler temperatures apparently are going to be hanging around. Uh, yesterday's five-day forecast was showing 10 degrees after the five days. And this has dramatically changed as high, cold high-pressure ridge is joining forces with the high-pressure ridge over the Hudson Bay. The winter engine, which I was talking about last week. And it's a little late for that, but kind of, I saw it coming. So let's see what happens in the five-day forecast starting tomorrow. So across... Eastern Canada and the Atlantic provinces watch for quite a storm to develop over the next few days. Quickly heading straight into Greenland and Iceland. But it's very interesting as I was watching the low that was developing in the Gulf and it did develop, but it headed straight into the Atlantic. And that's the five day forecast for that low that came out of the Gulf. Crazy stuff. Like a lot of these low pressure systems are just lasting for days. Low, uh, southern hemisphere, northern hemisphere. Overlooking Europe, high pressure ridge still dominant, keeping things dry. Some moisture moving into Spain. And cooler temperatures, snow, higher elevations, parts of Turkey and into Afghanistan. Heavy rains. High pressure ridge building across Southeast Asia has dried things up as well. Yesterday's forecast changed. Like everything changed overnight. Something happened. Um, yeah, but the forecasts are, are a lot different than what they were yesterday. Northern uh, Australia expecting a low pressure system to affect you guys. And then Tropical Cyclone Herald. High pressure ridge on both sides. It's just, I appreciate all of you guys watching and tuning in, but I've seen some dramatic changes across the world in my three years of reporting. I'm so happy that you guys are still tuned in. Looking across South America, a lot of heavy rains developing across Central and into Colombia. Heavy rains through Panama, heavy rains through Northern Brazil, and as well Peru, coastal regions, friends and family in South America stay safe and watch out for those flash floods they will be coming in the next couple weeks a lot of rain is falling across South America I mean yes it is the rainforest and South America does get a lot of daily evaporation rains but the intensity is starting to grow same with the intensity and size of the low pressure systems that are spinning in the southern hemisphere just look at this monster beast the five-day forecast is going to be attacking the tip of Antarctica later in the week. 
but literally that system's just going to keep spinning around, joining forces with other low pressure systems across the southern hemisphere. Watch for an uptick in seismicity through this region in the coming days as it's being bombarded by intense lows and highs and convergence lines. Leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern hemisphere. Much love to you all, and thank you again for watching. I don't know how many times I'm going to thank you, but I'm so Canadian, eh? I'm trying to keep it as polite and professional as I can. Again, stay aware, prepared, stay young, and have fun, and get your morning due. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.